it would be wonderful if you, if you had been a dancer um, and then be a critic. Uh, I don't know of many critics that were dancers or even professional dancers. I think there's one thing in terms of being, you know, a hobby. I, I danced in, you know, high school and college, and one is I was a professional dancer. They're, they're, they're very, very different. Um, I think, you know, uh, critics, it's a very interesting, it's a very interesting topic. As a dancer, it's very, very difficult to get up the next morning as you're having coffee, open up the piece of paper and, and realize that someone has basically trashed your performance um, or even loved it. Right, because you might have, it's exactly what we were talking about, you, you were like, well, what do you mean they loved it? I wasn't anywhere present. But you have to understand that already as a professional dancer, you've gone to such a high level that you not being present, and even though you thought that performance wasn't very good, it, it's so minuscule. To us, it's huge, but to the audience, it's so minuscule that it, um, but what I've learned through through some very harsh reviews, harsh years, and one thing that Balanchine said towards the very end of, of his life, he said, you know, if you're going to believe the good ones, then you have to believe the bad ones. So it's best not to be believe any of them at all. Basically, it's best not to read them. Um, I now, what I tell myself in terms of whether the company gets a good review or, um, or and I'm mentioned in it, which is, it is one person's opinion. I mean, and that's what we forget. That person has, it's one person in the audience of 2,200, 3,000, that saw something that liked it or didn't like it, and has the ability, because of their job, to write it on, in a, pay, on a you know, on, in a newspaper, in a publication, and that publication has a finite time, 24 hours, and that's it. And then you move on to the next. And so that's how I deal with, with all of this at this point. And if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. I feel like I need to continue doing what I'm doing. And, and yes, I'm not saying that it's not hurtful. Of course it is, because you're putting all your all your effort into this one thing, and you want people to like it. Um, but are the other, you know, 2,999 going to be influenced by that one review? I, I highly doubt it.